2023, Jonathan gives presidency condition to join APC. The reported plan to bring in former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan as a presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC seem not to be ending anytime soon. The focus of the ruling party will now turn to searching for a presidential candidate after its successful national convention on Saturday. With the emergence of Abdullahi Adamu as the national chairman of the party, there are high probabilities that the APC might zone its presidential ticket to the south in 2023. There are reports that the presidency is working on the ground to bring in Jonathan as the party's candidate despite the declaration of Bola Tinubu, Dave Umayi, Rocha Sokorocha, and some others. According to Daily Independent, the presidency believes Jonathan has the upper hand because he is a southerner and also a Christian, which is important given the fact that the president Buhari is a Muslim. There are plans to return power to the north, as Jonathan can only serve for one term in office since he had served in 2015. Recorded that the chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, PACAC, Ishe Sage, was quoted to have recently stated that APC has plans to pair the governor of Yobe State, Maimala Bernie, with Jonathan. This would give Bernie the chance to take over at the end of Jonathan's one term in office. A former minister from the South-South who spoke with Daily Independent on Sunday said, the former president is set to decide with the convention of the ruling party now over. He further stated that Jonathan is technically out of the PDP as of today. According to him, yes, the former president was approached by the leaders of the APC, who sold him the idea of running on the party's platform in 2023. They said they were happy with the manner he handled his defeat in 2015, conceding defeat even before the election results were fully announced without any form of bitterness and the cooperation he has been given President Buhari. They also said, as a true Democrat, Nigeria needs him at this moment to unite the country. I'm aware Jonathan gave them only one condition, and that is if they are ready to make him the consensus presidential candidate of the party. He doesn't want any acrimony that will arise from contesting the presidential primary at all. That is the only condition I am aware he gave to the APC leaders who are in talks with him. The talks of um, Jonathan returning um, to presidency through the platform of the All Progressive Congress. Many have seen it as just a mere talk, mere speculations. But we know that um, truly, truly, um, there's no smoke without fire. You know, if the, the smoke is seen constantly, the smoke is always there. It's either the fire is about to be put on or it's just been put out. One of them, if we check closely, this issue of Jonathan and the APC, this, they are romance and everything that has been going on it's been on for a while we know a couple of times jonathan has cleared the air that he doesn't have any intentions of abandoning his party and moving over to the all progressive congress the ruling party but the thing is that his apc apc they've not relented they've not given up and you know because they want to retain power they have like uh their motives are, are there one they want to retain power two um, they know that it's just one term that Jonathan can serve. He's done one term. You are constitutionally um, bound to do eight years once you've done that, and that's it. Jonathan has done four years already, so they know that it's just four years left for him. So if they hand him over the presidency, four years down the line, they know that um, they will be able to come back to power. What they've been fighting for, what they've been um, rooting for, that in Northern and, you know, the other part of the country, we've all been stating that... Um, the zoning agreement, the zoning principle should be respected. Rotational presidency, that is what um, fairness, justice, inclusiveness, equity, all of those things, that is what he speaks about. And also, um, if we're talking about um, democracy, the will of the people should stand. Um, Southern governors have been stating that um, presidency is the turn of the South, that presidency has to come to the South. But Northerners, they've been kicking against it. And the only way 
they can just accept it that okay fair enough let um, presidency go to the south but they know that not for long that is the jonathan card they've been playing this jonathan card for a while now but um you know it's not long to go whatever the case is it will come out eventually but a source has just um, reported that um, jonathan has given apc and uh, the presidency a condition to join then the only ground he's going to join is if there is a consensus he doesn't have um, that energy to battle anyone to fight during the primaries or anything of such we know he's a peaceful man just even uh, uh recall the way he he hand handled the defeat first time in history when an incumbent will lose out um we lost in an election like that first time even for governorship is very hard to see that um, an incumbent governor except we know that um some uh <laughs> the powers that be like the case of um, Lagos State, Ambode, Bola Tinubu finally came out uh, in the open that he was the one. Yes, he was the one that worked against Ambode. But there are just few cases like that. So for Jonathan that lost the election during 2015, he was very calm about it. Even before INEC uh, would even um, declare um, the, the winner of the election, will make the announcement public. Jonathan picked up the phone. Yeah, picked up the phone. He's a man of peace. He said um, nothing, no, no sort of position is worth the blood of humans because he wants to return there and they will start um killing innocent citizens that it won't happen he picked up the phone he rang president muhammad buhari congratulated him and that is one quality where apc they are putting that in front of that um, that is one quality they see in him but beyond that we know that is more than that is because they know that uh, it's just one tenor that he can do to return uh and they will return the north will return back to power well this is not coming directly from Jonathan. A source is um, claiming that that is what Jonathan has told um, the APC. The source is saying that that is what Jonathan has told presidency, that that is the only condition he has given presidency. One thing is that um, a, a truth, uh, a truth of a matter doesn't, it doesn't stay for long. This one coupled with the fact that the presidency is not long to go. We don't have to wait for 10 years to find out if it's true or if it's not true. The primaries, APC's primary is going to be held very soon, May. After, immediately after their convention, now that their convention is out of the way, the next thing that they are preparing and planning for is the presidency. But it's so interesting, it's very surprising that despite all of um, the um, chieftains, um, the, uh, <laughs> the heavyweights within the All Progressive Congress, like the likes of Ambola um, Tinubu, who have declared their intentions, APC, they still have the mind, they are still pushing, they are still rooting for good luck Billy jonathan we'll see how all of this plays out leave us your take guys thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye